Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So glad to have you with me again today. And as usual, I just want to thank you for sharing this time together with me. And as we begin our study today, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, what can we say? We have your word in our hands, that you speak to us through the scriptures. And Lord, you want us to know you personally. You want us to know your ways, and you want us to know who you are, and you want us to know about your son, Jesus. So we ask that you would guide us into all truth by your Holy Spirit today and empower us to live in such a way that we are pleasing to you. We'll give you thanks for doing so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is One Body, One Spirit, One Hope. And it's taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 4. Paul the Apostle desired for the Ephesian church members to walk worthy of their vocation and to do so with all lowliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing one another in love. He also wanted them to endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. In chapter 4 and verse 4 of his letter to the Ephesians, Paul shares how there is one body, one Spirit, and one hope, where we read, There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. The verse begins, there is one body and one spirit. Paul began with the words, there is one body, which means a large or small number of men closely united in one society or family. And one spirit, which refers to the third person of the triune God, the Holy Spirit, who is co-eternal and co-equal with the Father and with the Son. Paul declared only one unified body and only one Holy Spirit. The verse goes on to say, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Paul added, even as you, which refers to the Ephesian church members, are called, which means invited, given a name, and saluted by one name, in one hope or expectation of good, confidence, and anticipated pleasure of your calling, which means the divine invitation to embrace salvation of God. The Ephesians were invited to one anticipated pleasure, which was related to the divine invitation of God's salvation. When we meditate upon these words of Paul, we realize he has remained with the idea of a unified church. Although there are many different styles to churches, there is only one true body of Christ. In addition, Paul made sure the Ephesians knew there is only one Holy Spirit, even as they were invited to one expectation of good and anticipated pleasure. Jesus Christ made all this possible, and as we manifest his body, the church, in this world, let us bear witness that we are unified even as he is toward everyone who responds to his calling. Next time, Paul shares about one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.